Well, hello there, and welcome to another property tour in this beautiful sunny day with me and Bruna. Hi, everyone. Hello. So today we're doing another new listing in Zagaleta, and I thought Bruna should come along because she actually shows more houses than I do nowadays because I'm all with this property tours and more in the office stuff. So we've got this brand new listing that we're going to take on. We're going to have a look at it and show it to you guys at the same time. Hope you like it, the idea. So you ready to do this? Yes, let's go. It, it looks fantastic. No, the driveway, the moment we came in, that was so beautiful. All this garden landscape and then it's kind of connected. You see how they did all the gardening with the idea to connect it with all the other mountain sides of Zagaleta, like in one whole big concept. So nice, there's no houses It's around. very integrated with the Zagaleta gardens and green areas. Absolutely. Exactly. And the you palm can't trees. see any houses at all. That's so beautiful. Yeah, the first feeling is that it's very private. Absolutely, so many trees. Then the cable stone, beautiful, nice wide driveway, the olive tree right in the middle, and lots of space to maneuver with a beautiful Ferrari car, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yes? The car is matching very well today, our uh, outfit. Absolutely. Let's stand here just for a second before we go inside and check out this massive porch. Very interesting building. The house was like from, do you remember the year of the house? 2005. 2005, yeah. Probably. But it's still very modern architecture, even though uh, it's a little bit older property. I really like the grey colour though. It has a beautiful Andalusian style, but uh, definitely a lot of modern elements. Yes, we'll see it inside. Nice big driveway, which I guess takes us into the garage. The plot is 8,600 square meters and the house is 1,600 wow, square meters. that's big. That's Five bedrooms on suite and the asking price is 9, Nine million, million euros. Including furniture. Always <laughs> important to check all the details. Let's check it out inside. Let's go. Are you a fan more of the grey car or would you do it white though? I, I confess that I prefer more this grey. No, I ah, prefer the more the grey. I prefer more the vanilla colors. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's different as well. Really interesting touch here with this more rustic element. And then we go inside through this door. Nice big hallway. Yeah, it's like almost triple high, yes? You could say so almost. I like how they have this huge glass as well over here. Yeah, it's big pieces of glasses, picture windows. As well, what the owner told me is that the floors are uh, natural stones from here, from Malaga, from Algeciras, and it goes all the way in the whole house. As well, very beautiful stone in the staircase. Yeah, the staircase is actually very special, like a piece of an art itself. Let's carry on. So we've got the guest toilet over here and the hallway that leads us to the living room. Yeah, once. Thank you. Please. Nice wide hallways. Yeah, okay. very spacious. Immediately we've got the kitchen. Please, I'll leave this one to you. Yeah, the kitchen <laughs> has a great space. A double size island here in the middle. All the appliances are from Mieli. Plenty of space. And this corner is beautiful. Here we have a table for breakfast, for lunch. And what is more more interesting is that the windows are all like pictures. You really feel integrated with the nature. And also in the ceiling, we have this natural uh, cherry wood from oh. Washington. Okay. It's amazing and, and you will see it in another rooms of the house. Awesome. I must say this house does not have any sea views, okay? But the beautiful mountain views are spectacular. We're going to see it all around. And the house faces uh, west. So that means that even in the evening, you have the beautiful sunset going behind the mountains right in front of you. Behind there, we have a separate entrance and a separate staircase for staff to go into the basement. And as well, a back kitchen, again, with the, another fridge, another oven. So everything is double the size. Very convenient. Beautiful. And then through this hallway, which goes in parallel to the other hallway. Yeah, in with the a middle, lovely patio. Lovely patio, that's right. Nice breakfast area. Very Again, beautiful. the windows in both sides uh, gives a lot of light of the for the house. It's Have very a look bright. at this cool detail. Oh yeah, this is very nice. 
I never saw this uh, detail in a house in Zagaleta. No, no, it's a uh, it's, uh, metal, basically, yeah. like a metal wall. It gives you a feeling like these uh, fabric details in the fabrics. Yes. And I think this is a very modern touch. Absolutely. And it gives to this house this feeling of timeless. You could say so. I mean, this house? Even being built almost 15, 20 years ago? Not 20, 10 okay. to 15. Yeah, but almost, but it's super modern. No, no, the, the house is really impressive. The double height in the living room, all this space all together is impressive. Nice big windows, you've got light everywhere, very open plan. Yeah. All the furniture you can tell that was made specially for the house, tailor-made, yes. 100%. And the volumes, the sizes, everything is very decent. Very yeah, good. I mean, this dining table area here, it's fantastic. And also it's very well integrated with the outdoor Porsche, with more seating areas. Again, amazing views to the, to the mountains. What I love is that the, it's like a very square space. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the architect? Well, I believe this is not Diego Tobal, <laughs> even though <laughs> this is the architect that did the most houses in Zagaleta, but the architect of this home is Schwarzberg, right? Correct, yes. He has a really nice office in Puerto Venus, actually. Yes. And this is his signature. The mm. triangle, it's his signature, and he just put it here in this uh, amazing corner of the, of the ceiling of the living room. Beautiful. Really cool, this different play of heights as well. I've got this, like, more office area up there it's another sitting area actually because the house has an office in the other floor big heights the big same windows. floor inside and outside gives you a very good feeling of space and here you've got the views which once again i think are beautiful it's also really nice because actually in front of us there's a few houses but because this house is so elevated in respect to the others you do, almost don't see them at yeah. all and you've got a lot of privacy in every corner of the plot which is so important and highly demanded and highly demanded all my course. clients always ask me that one of the reasons why they come to Zagalet of course it's the security but also they are looking for privacy 100 and this is a perfect house for that yeah, the more I talk to clients, the more I show them houses, I realize that actually the sea view element is nice, absolutely. But again, there's sea views like when you're front to the sea, and then there's a sea view when you see a little bit of the sea, yeah. which is very different. Yeah. But the privacy, I think, is even more important. Like, because then important. you can enjoy your home and just not be bothered by anyone. Exactly. Actually, from here, I can also see that all the windows has electrical shutters. They are very also customized. They are built in a way that it's like a dark fabric. Yes. So I also found these very elegant. Nice. And if we go a little bit over here, we get to the swimming pool. Do you know how many meters this pool has? Um, no, but it, I would guess it's above 20. Yes, actually 22. 22, 22. No, it's really big really wide it's and you've wide got and a big. staircase on each side which yeah. makes it really comfortable yeah and as the diving spot <laughs> absolutely and this facade it's also very impressive all the bedrooms are looking to here they have the views to the pool area and the green views to the mountain really nice i actually can see a house from here that i sold a few months ago oh yeah the one that is under construction yes yes it's going very fast Absolutely. Actually, this area of Zagaleta, you're really close to the north entrance. It took us like three minutes to get here. Yeah, in we are in one of the closest sectors of the north entrance of La Zagaleta. Absolutely. Which is also very convenient. Yeah, also this side of the plot is amazing. You see how flat is the platform they created here. Kids can run around. It's plenty of space to, to play here. Yeah, they've got the pool elevated in respect to the property, so it's on the same level as the living room, which is pretty cool. But then on both sides below, you have a big platform for kids to play. Really cool. Those little windows are give light into the basement room, Correct. which can be accessed from the living room or from the other side of the basement as well. Yeah, the basement, if I'm not wrong, it has three different access. From the living room, from the kitchen and from the master bedroom area. And I must say that the architecture is not very typical. It's quite different, which I like. And because you can tell here, how that was the passerelle as well, which on this side had another 
uh, eating breakfast table, that's cool. And all this Andalusian tiles on the top combined with the glass with the grey colour, it's pretty cool. As well the metal, the metallic metal railings, touches. Yeah. Yes. Then you have a staircase here which takes you to the garden bottom level. And before we go inside, so we've got a few bedrooms here, but from here you get a good view of the driveway, which continued from where we stopped the car. And then another beautiful thing is that the owners explained to me that they have this gate over there, which you go through it and it takes you down to the forest, which has like lots of walking sides by it. And because there's not many homes around, it feels like it's everything is part of your plot, which it's spectacular. No, it's perfect if you have uh, like dogs and you like to go outside to walk with them. But uh, be careful about dogs because you <laughs> can find here some deers, <laughs> some pigs and other animals just running around. So yeah. careful about the dog. All right then, I guess we can Let's walk go inside. in from here, which was conveniently left open. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guest bedrooms wow. here. Mm -hmm. Nice windows, beautiful views. Very Again, bright. Good high ceiling. Of course, all the bedrooms in this house, all of them, they're en suite. So that's nice, simple. And the, as well, area. what I like, it's the white of the corridors. It's amazing. In every single bedroom, yes. Yeah. Uh, here, a walking shower, double vanity. Big bathrooms, lots of marble. So we've got basically the same bedroom on this side. This one is a little bit bigger. It has the same detail in the, in the wall as the entrance hall. Again, the window gives you a beautiful view to the green area. And here we have a walk-in closet area. And in this case, the bathroom has a walk-in shower and a bathtub. I like very much this one because it has the same uh, natural grey stone in the whole bathroom. Nice. And then there will be another bedroom which is basically the same. Yes, bedroom number three. Which is also very convenient to have three bedrooms in the ground floor for guests. That works really nice. It's, it's in a different. separate corner away from the main house. It's got this extra living space for the three bedrooms with a double height, yeah. glass, beautiful, beautiful garden views. Once again, really private. You close off the door, don't interfere with the rest of the house. So in terms of that, it's fantastic. And I tell you, for a price of 9 million euros, how the market is today, how hot it is, and there's so difficult to find good properties. You know this more than me. Yeah, uh, in this price range, there is not too much stock right now, ready to move in. And I really think this house is a great opportunity for a big family looking for a house close to the gate as well. And uh, as, as we can see, the house still has a lot of modern touches. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, you can move in as it is. You can always switch little details or make a few things around uh, to your taste or update a little bit or paint it white, whatever, but it's beautiful. You've got a lift that goes into all the floors. Uh, there's like really funky, cool um, artwork around the house, around everywhere almost. And another thing which I like about this house, which is a personal thing, the whole upper level, just the master suite. So no mm. one bothers you. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's check it out. And in terms of bedrooms, it's very simple. You've got this wing of the house with the three bedrooms, master suite upstairs, and a guest suite in the basement with a separate entrance, windows, natural light, all of that, of course, which can be for staff or for guests. And that's pretty much it. So it still ticks all the boxes. We've got lots of bedrooms, not too many. And then that's also how you get so big spaces in your house because it's a 1,600 square meter house at the end of the day. It's, it's a big property. But you don't feel it. It's very cozy house. That's what I most like about this yeah. house. It feels like you could live in it if you're just two people. Exactly. It's perfect And don't for feel like well. uh, yeah. out of space. Or 10 people as well, no problem at all. Absolutely. So here is where the office is. There's a small guest toilet over here, next yeah. to the master. Next to the office. For the office, yeah. that's right. This office is one of my favorites I've ever seen. <laughs> I love natural wood in the libraries. Yes, the series. And again, we, I don't know if the camera will catch, but this cherry wood has a very special bright. Uh -huh. um, it's very shiny. Well, that's your woman eye. I just see wood. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks spectacular. And look the views from here, from your table. Yeah, stunning. Amazing. There's a set terrace at the back with the other mountain views as well. 
I mean, nowadays, especially, so many people like to have an office in the house. After the pandemic, um, it's one of the very important elements of the list. Yeah, I think so. If you don't need it, beautiful second walk-in wardrobe, yeah. because we have a one that's already really big in this house. So pretty much, if you go in here, we've got the master bedroom on this side, the walk-in closet and the master bathroom, all of it one wing. So let's check out the bedroom first. Again, same natural wood on the ceilings and all around, which yes, is what you here like. Yes, here the walls as well has the same wood. Gives a really cozy feeling. You've got this separate seating area, dividing with the bedroom area. Actually, the bed is really cool because it's like so minimalistic, even too minimalistic for this house. That's cool. But Lots have a look at those chairs. They are The chairs are cool as amazing. well. Yes, very different design, but spacious, spacious all around. And you've got the best views. I think this is the real feeling of La Zagaleta. That clients, when I drive them he, up here, they always tell me, oh my God, Zagaleta is so peaceful. And in this bedroom here, I mean, you feel like you are in a five-star hotel, six senses somewhere in the world, maybe lost in South Africa or any part where you are super connected with the, na the nature. It's amazing. And I can promise you, I can't see an animal right now, but I can assure <laughs> you, if you're lying here in bed, you've got the windows open with this yeah. feeling that you so precisely and beautifully described right now. Yeah. And I can assure you that at some stage of the day, you can see the deers walking around there. 100%. You know when they come more often? When it's bad weather. When it's a little bit raining or windy, True. you can see they're jumping around in the roads. Yeah, we see them every day it's we come to Zagaleta. It's magic. You have to be careful with the car. <laughs> <laughs> the master bathroom is also very impressive. This uh, amazing one piece, uh, it, I think this is granite or I marble. I think it's marble. Or yeah? stone, yes. It's a natural stone, big one. This, you can tell it's one piece, at least 800 kilos. Double vanity. On both sides, that's really cool as Walking well. Walking shower. Again, a little bit, that extra seating for me is spectacular. You also have speakers throughout, what you can control from a domotic system. Little extra details for storage. And over here, we have the walking <laughs> wardrobe, which again, great size, nice extra window, fits pretty much all you need, right? Another idea I would have done personally, I would do a second walking wardrobe over here and that other space in the living room that was elevated, I would use it like an open plan office to be in the same moment in the house whilst you were <laughs> doing something else in the living room. <laughs> it could so be. So there's also always yeah. details that you can adapt and do, but in general terms, it's fantastic layout. Let's check the basement. Let's check the basement. See you downstairs. So over here we have the garage. Okay. Which can fit almost five, six cars. At least, easily. Ah, the, drive, space. the driveway it's easy and flat. So it's a sports car friendly. <laughs> yes, sports car friend, yeah, exactly. Yeah, actually we drove today a Ferrari and it was... No problem, yeah. No problem. And that corner, I think, from the ceramic on the walls and they've got an extra exit for water, I guess, so that you can actually uh, wash your car in here. Yes, you can. And really big space, nice, easy maneuver all the time. Let's see the rest. Sure. I will show you my favorite part of this basement. Which is? You will see it now. Okay. Again, here we have the same natural stone in the floors, the same gray color in the walls. So the you house. You see that? That's pretty cool. That's like a. I don't know. It looks like an onyx or marble. I, I would say it's an it. onyx piece of marble. Yeah. Instead or, of a painting. Yeah. Cool. Different, careful with the stair. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. Here is my favorite part. <laughs> yes, well, you yeah. don't show it then. Because I really think that we don't see very often a proper wine cellar made with the proper materials because nowadays we see it very modern ones. But at the end of the day, the experts of wine, they always say that 
it's very important that you use wood, you, you use this um, brick. bricks. Um, so the order told me here you can fit more than 1,500 bottles, <laughs> imagine. <All right. laughs> you so can. if you do like three bottles per day, that lasts just a year. Imagine. <laughs> Only. <laughs> when th that was your number, you did very quickly the numbers because you remember in the pandemic, yes? The pandemic. When we was Ooh, two the months pandemic. locked at home. The pandemic, I did three bottles a day. <laughs> 100%. Uh, let's carry on this way. Nice passerelle, I would say, nice hallway. Yeah, it's very nice detail they did here with all the light spots. Feels really futuristic. Futuristic, actually. yes. Awesome. And again, wide hallways. I love that. So here we have this, again, modern <laughs> biblioteca. It's a library, yeah. <laughs> library. With Very a little bit of the double one. height, those were the windows that I mentioned outside the, uh, the swimming, swimming pool. pool. And this staircase takes us right back to the living room area. Yeah, where you say you would put the office. Above here, yes, me exactly. personally, 100%. Yeah. But again, depends how you like to work at home. But it's really cool because this space is really lit. You've got light all around. We've got the interior heated swimming pool on the other side through the glass. And we can also see the outside. Yeah, what I like here is that it's everything an open plan space, but in the same time it's separate. So some some guests guests can be there in the spa area. You can be here chilling, watching TV. And also what I like is that this area where the TV is, the light it's more darker. So you have this cinema feeling. True. Yeah. True. True. Okay. And then you've got this nice. Yes, it's a 11, 11 meters uh, long, the swimming pool. You could even put a small gym down there if you want. And at the end of the passageway, we have a uh, hammam. You, yeah, we have a, a very big walking shower and a hammam. With bathroom. And you can easily fit over there a gym area. Exactly. Beautiful. Then there was a massive laundry in the basement. There was this fifth uh, staff apartment or guest Correct. apartment. Yeah. Big storage room. I mean, pretty much takes all the boxes. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at it from the outside once again. Yes, let's go. Oh, beautiful house. What do you think about it? Yeah, I hope uh, you like this house. In my opinion... Uh, I hope the clients like this house. Yes, I hope <laughs> the clients call us to visit this house. But it's definitely a very solid house. We can say that the family who built this house on the 2005, they did with a lot of love. All the materials used here, it, it's high standards. The pieces of art, uh, the vibes of the house is amazing. It's our new listing, so I'm sure we are going to sell this one very soon because it's a great house. Yeah, I think it's a great example of a recent house, another listing of house that we have, but not brand new. But again, you can tell that it's been built by the owners for themselves. Exactly. So that's people spending a lot of money and quality and a lot of things that you can't even see, which are there put on. So it's fantastic. I definitely recommend it to clients. And well, I hope you enjoyed watching this property tour. This is basically like a quick glance inside our daily routine, going around, seeing houses. And yeah, that's what we do every time. I mean, Bruna was here yesterday showing clients, the day before as well. We've got more tours next week. I'm Zagaleta. We've got pretty much all the listings you can imagine. So do let us know if you want to see a house. And let us know your comments. What do you think about this more vlog style into our daily routine? And stay tuned because more videos are coming. Absolutely. The sun is out. <laughs> sun is out. <laughs> Thank you.